Hi, Darlene here. Um, recently, we had the good fortune of spending some time with our friend High Desert Ranger. Um, while we were visiting him, he gave me this awesome cast iron waffle maker. Um, I need to recondition it. It has a lot of rust. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days. Uh, so I've never done this before, so this should be interesting to see how it turns out. So I hope that uh, we can have waffles on it before the weekend. <laughs> Today's Friday. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is um, this is a soft wire brush. It's just kind of knock off some of the debris and rust that's on it. Um, let's see if we can get closer so you can see. It's just kind of knocking off some of that rust. This won't hurt the cast iron. Um, it's a soft bristle. Same thing here, you can see it's already getting some of the rust off. Yeah, look at that rust come off, woohoo! Whew, that was fun. Took a little bit of elbow grease there. But I've got most of the loose rust knocked off. It was really rusty in here. But uh, now we're going to give it a bath. So. Okay just going to get everything in here as best I can and then I'm going to use some distilled white vinegar. Um, I did a little bit of YouTube research and uh, that's what I found as one of the best things to use. You can do some kind of an iodized bath, you can, or electrolysis bath or something. Um, coke, people have actually used coke to take the rust off of uh, cast iron. But it seems like the distilled white vinegar works in most cases. And I don't really think the rust is that bad, it's just not something I'm used to. So, um, but we will find out. All right. It's supposed to take like 24 hours, so We'll come back again in about 24 hours and check on this and see how clean it looks. It needs more vinegar. So, not a problem. I've got another jug and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Okay, well, I've started cleaning. You can see um, the rust just from the bath. Uh, has been removed quite a bit. I still have work to do to get all of the rust off, but there's that piece. This, all of this was very rusty prior to starting this process, but it's cleaning up very nicely. Got a little nylon brush that I'm using right now to uh, just kind of get into all of the little nooks and crannies here 
and just keep cleaning it. This is going to take little work, more than I had anticipated, but um, it's coming along nicely. I'm, I'm pleased so far. End of day two, we did the 24-hour uh, acid bath with the distilled white vinegar. Uh, it worked really well. Uh, there was still rust. We had to do a lot of work, but in the end, there's just a couple little spots left that I have to hit, and we are ready for seasoning. So um, it's not a rust color at this point, it's a gray color, uh, and I'm going to have to wait to season, uh, we'll, which will be the next step in the process, because we had a little problem with our oven. Uh, so Clint's fixing that, which will be another uh, video later on. Um, so it'll not be waffles this weekend for sure, because tomorrow is Sunday and we have to fix an oven. <laughs> well, Clint got the oven fixed. So now I am seasoning everything up. Uh, I'm on my second coat. Um, First, I wash everything to make it nice and clean after the vinegar bath. Now I have one coat on. It's already starting to change a little in color. And I'm ready to apply the second coat. And then I'll pop it back in the oven at 400 degrees for an hour. Bring it out, let it cool down, and do a third coat. And it should be done. All right. We have waffles. Ta-da! Here's the final product. Look at that. Yeah. Just look at it. <laughs> We've got whole wheat waffles from our reconditioned waffle iron. And there's bananas, walnuts, raisins, and real maple syrup. You ready to try this out? Yep. Thank you, Mike, for this awesome gift. We're going to make a lot of waffles. And we appreciate it very much. Bye, everybody. Happy trails. Peace. All right, turn that off because we can eat. Okay.